Hi there, this is Chuck with Pocket Snakes. I thought today I would show you a way to make a bleed knot uh, standing end that you can use to make a tapered falls. So this is a two foot piece. Let's make a real short falls because I don't want to waste paracord. Gut it and pull the core out. And then heat up the end of it and roll it into a point. And this end, you also melt and roll into a point. Take and put this into, this is a like a three millimeter a paracord needle, stainless steel, and this is whip maker cord, which is smaller than 550, it's thinner than 550, it's about half, it's 3 16 inch whip maker cord from the paracord store. It's the only place I know that carries it. So down on this end, you measure about a thumb's length up, see, so or wait, in this case, we're making a falls, so we're going to measure it in thirds, okay? And so we're gonna take this, we're gonna penetrate at one third. Okay. Let me stop and think this is twisted in my head. So you're going to penetrate it two thirds. It's so almost all the way down. And you put a, a hole all the way through and pull the cord through. And then I like this loop to be what you would call a flat loop. So instead of it having a twist or instead of it being perfectly even, I like it to, to lay flat against itself. So that's the long end. You can size that to the diameter of the whip. You're going to put the falls in. And then what you do is take the end that you just penetrated, which is the short end. Up here where you want it, roughly where the, you size the loop, but as close as you can get. Penetrate. And then you have to kind of pinch this piece to pull it inside because you don't want it slipping when you go inside. You can even come out the side over halfway down. And you end up with the same kind of a bleed knot.
structure, which the advantage is you can't pull this loop to open. So it can't pull that loop. This loop is now locked in place and it's smooth on the front side. It doesn't look very different than other ways of doing it. But this loop, sometimes if you get a whip <clears throat> or if you use a English eye and you put this on the end, it'll it'll try and untangle or it'll try and pull the inside of this uh, tapered falls. So I want the tapered falls to end at halfway. <coughs> so I'm going to back this up to halfway and cut off the shorter end. So now this falls is complete. So that's a tapered falls with a bleed knot locked. Uh, with a bleed knot locked loop at the end. And that's a neat way to go about doing things. If you need a standing in that you can't have come undone, this type of a bleed knot arrangement. And you can go through and penetrate it one more time and then go halfway in, you know, go in halfway and down instead of stopping it there. But the nature of this is the more you pull to try and pull that piece out, the more it doesn't want to do what you want. So the only way to take this apart, if you want to take it apart, is to take a fit or a needle, one or the other, and get right in between here. And you can work it apart. And like all things that are square knotted together, they're pretty easy to to work back apart, but you have to make the loop over here and then you can slide this off. But it's not, like the more you pull on this in, the more it will lock that knot down. Anyway, just some interesting things with some knot work and some paracord today. Again, this is Check with Pocket Snakes.